Hi you guys, I'm back again. This time with a delicious treat. You know it's that time of year when pumpkin is in season and so I was just thinking, why not a pumpkin spice latte donut? Okay, let's get started. And yes, I did say donut. I know we get lattes all the time from Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks. And I really love the flavor, so I thought, why not make it into a donut? Okay. So now, I have one cup of self-rising flour. And I use self-rising flour again because it's easier. You don't have to add baking soda or baking powder. And you would have to do that if you use all purpose. To that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of ginger. Again, this is like a latte. And I'm just using ground ginger. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's just powdered ginger. But don't worry, all the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box. And we're going in with a half a teaspoon of ginger. And ginger is pretty strong, so you only need a half a teaspoon. Unless you really love the flavor, put as much as you want. But I will go light. And these spices are what I call everyday ingredients. You would go to your local market and pick it up. You wouldn't have to order it or anything. And this is ground cinnamon. And I'm using one tablespoon. We love cinnamon. You could go with less if you want. And nutmeg. And these are all of the flavors that you would taste inside of a latte or that I taste in the lattes that I get. And I'm going in with one teaspoon. Now, because this is a donut and I want it to be really fluffy, I decided, even though I'm using self-rising flour, to use a little bit of baking powder and double action. But you can use regular baking powder if you have it. Just so it can fluff up because it is a donut. Okay. And this is all going into the dry batter. You always want to put your dry batter together and then your wet batter separate and then mix it together okay so that's the dry batter in this bowl i have three medium beaten eggs and one stick of butter if you didn't have butter you can use margarine i use butter because butter have more flavor than oil and i'm coming in with a half a cup of sugar you can use a whole cup one of the great things of making your own dessert you decide how sweet you want it to be and we could not have a pumpkin spice latte donut without pumpkin and i'm going to use about a half a cup again if you really want the pumpkin flavor and a half a cup is not enough for you go in with a whole cup but a half a cup is pretty good and i'm going to put this into the wet ingredients because it's so thick it needs to be the the liquid will help to um, mix it all together and I'm going to use a spoon because again the puree is kind of thick and the sugar I didn't forget I almost forgot <laughs> milk this everyday milk and I'm going to use about I'm going to start off with about four ounces if I need more I will add more this is a batter that you don't want to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too dry. I'm going to change to the whip. Maybe the whip would be a little bit easier. Yeah, I think so. There we go. Please take a minute. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. It's actually free, but it really helps the channel. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. Okay. I hope the camera wasn't shaking. Sorry about that if it was. Okay, so now we are gonna mix the wet batter into the dry batter. This is a real simple recipe. Give it a try. Like this time of year, I think pumpkin is just everywhere. <laughs> so easy to get. Okay, so now once this is combined, I'm gonna stop stirring. And you just want all of the colors to be blended. And right now I'm still seeing white. But I'm going to add a little bit more liquid, some more milk because it seems kind of thick and you don't want a real thick batter. Okay, 
So that's about eight ounces of milk. And again, all the measurements will be in the description box. I'm going to see if I can use this. Yep. Did I say whisk or whip? Should be whisk. Here we go. Look at that. Look how easy it came together. And you know, moms and grandmoms been making nice delicious treats for years before there was a stand mixer or an immersion blender. So I just keep it simple. Okay, so I have a non-stick pan. Let me see if I can get a better view of that. A non-stick donut pan. Now, even though it says non-stick, I always coat the pan with oil. And again, that's just a habit of mine because I'm always nervous that even though it says non-stick, it won't actually come out. So I take about a tablespoon of oil and it's coated. Okay. So now we're gonna spoon in the batter. You may have a little bit left over, depending on how big you make your donuts. And that's fine because the kids will love it. And I'm not worried about that. I will wipe it off later before I put it in the oven. But again, this is a very wet batter. It's so delicious. Sometimes I have these donuts and I know they're a treat, but sometimes I have them in the morning with a cup of coffee or tea. It is really delicious. Okay, so I'm going back around a second time to make sure I fill it all the way up. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now let me wipe that down. I'm gonna move this over. And I'm just going to clean this off. There we go. Again, the joys of cooking. But your family will love it. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350. And believe it or not, in 20 to 25 minutes, it is done. So check your oven after 20 minutes. Every one oven is different. But by 25 minutes, it should be done. Okay. Okay, so I took them out the oven and I let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. And again, these are delicious just as they are. But you know me, I always like to do a little bit extra. So how am I going to gloss these? Not gloss, I'm sorry, glaze. Good old-fashioned Hershey Sunday syrup. Now I'm using caramel, but if you want to use, let's say, I don't know, chocolate or vanilla, you can. So I'm just going to drizzle some here all around. And here and again these are perfect just the way they are you can avoid this if you don't want like if you don't want any if you're watching your sugar you don't have to add this part to it but it is delicious something about caramel and pumpkin it's just those two flavors together is delicious okay and I have some sprinkles which my kids love so and again you can use chocolate sprinkles any kind of sprinkles your family loves this is just vanilla and caramel. Perfect for the season. And since my kids love it, why not? And, as always, Cool Whip. This is my go-to. So, you don't have to, but I'm going to fill the center, if I can, with Cool Whip. Okay. Please take a minute, hit the subscribe button absolutely free and it really helps the channel hit the like button that let other people that's looking for easy recipes they'll be able to see it there we go and there we go again until next time enjoy